Hello everyone, welcome to Jessica Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create soap bubble shader and I'm also recreating the same scene that I've already created. So this is the actual scene for this render. So yeah, I'm going to use Renderman for Maya in this tutorial. So yeah, I'm going to reuse the same scene, but I'm going to delete uh, all the other stuffs. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to delete this uh, spheres, uh, I mean the marsh network. So I'm not sure what are these guys. So maybe I can delete this guy and I, I have to uh, remove the depth of field from my old camera. So so yeah, let's disable it and uh, I'm going to I'm going to remove the uh, uh, delete unused nodes and I'm going to create everything kind of uh, all the scene from scratch so i'm going to reuse this uh, sphere and uh, the pxr dome light so in this dome light, i've just connected the hdri the machine room hdri that i've downloaded from hdri heaven and i've just increased the exposure to 1.5 so nothing nothing uh, fancy so other than this yeah let's uh, let's click this uh, sphere and go to marsh let's populate this by clicking this little button and let's go to distribute changes to volume and uh, let's uh, let's let's uh, the volume size is very small so we need to increase the volume size maybe we need to go for something like 75 or something like this uh, yeah I think this is fine let's increase the number of points so maybe we can go for 200 yeah I think this is fine okay let's uh, zoom a little bit and maybe we can change the seed value okay cool so so now everything is pretty much uniform let's go to my mash and let's create the random node to create some randomness so I think I think uh, the random position is fine okay okay this is fine so we can create rotation variation so actually if I enable the wireframe you can see we have a lot of rotation in the a lot of variation in the rotation and let's create the scale randomness we need to enable this uniform scale and okay so maybe we can we can reduce the scaling of our the actual geometry the the, the source bubble or sphere so let's go to mesh again go to random increase the scale and maybe increase increase the volume size to get something like this and uh, change the seed okay i think this is fine let's zoom something like this cool now let's assign our shader which is a random man pxr surface cool and uh, so maybe we can we can launch the render the ipr and let's see what it gives so yeah so we are pretty much okay to uh actually work on the shader let's go to hyper shade and let's get rid of this guy and let's focus on our pxr surface so let's reduce the diffuse color okay let's launch the ipr so yeah so in this case i have to first reduce the diffuse color because we are going to work on a material something looking like transparent uh, like a glass or something like that so we don't want any glass here and uh, so we are not going to have any specular which is uh, which means we are going to add this in the iridescence so iridescence is something responsible for create uh, this kind of uh, thin film effect so this color transmission things and all so let's enable the face gain and uh, edge gain so i think the first thing that we have to do is we need to reduce the roughness uh, to something like 0 0.03 or 0 to something like that so now you can you can clearly see uh so we have uh so we have two different controls so one is uh uh, the artistic mode and the other one is physical mode so when you're working with artistic mode you have these two different sliders to uh, control your colors here and when you're working uh, so when you're working with artistic so if you want to change the hue wheel so you can change this these two values of uh, fall of speed and fall of scale 
so you can use this one when you're working with order stick and when you're working with physical you have something called thin film thickness so now this is responsible for changing the colors and stuffs so yeah now now if i change this to uh, something like 500 now you can see so it it, it uh, definitely affects the colors so now hopefully you get the idea of uh, what we are going to do so now i'm going to create a fractal noise and i'm going to uh, connect the fractal noise to this uh, thin film thickness and I'm going to remap this something uh, remap the value of the uh, Fractal noise to something like 800 to 900 or something like that. So yeah, let's 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 Stop the IPR for, for now and let's create a PXR fractal and I'm going to connect this in the utility pattern at this moment to enable the solo so yeah i've connected this and if i launch the ipr and uh, enable it to solo so now this is our noise uh, okay so we have a lot of control here so maybe i can reduce the frequency and increase the variation so yeah even further yeah this is fine if you want you can play with the turbulent and other stuff so this is very handy one so okay i'm going to use uh, as it is so whatever we have here okay so we have pxr fractal now we need to create the pxr remap to remap it uh, okay maybe we can we can directly connect this but uh, nothing will happen so let's let's connect this to thin film thickness okay so now if i disable the solo actually nothing happens because we need to remap this so we have to create remap pxr remap yeah so let's connect this result rgb to input rgb and uh, now connect this guy oops okay i'm going to directly drag and drop this guy okay result r to reduce thickness yeah okay so now we have connected it and now if i go here we have this we have to change this output minimum and output maximum so let's set this to uh, the output minimum to 700 and uh, the output maximum to 800 but still nothing happens because because uh, we have to disable this clamp output now you can see we have uh, properly get the range here and uh, now maybe we can enable the glass and we can check whether it's working fine or not okay so uh, let's uh, okay we have enabled the refract refraction and reflection gain now we need to reduce the roughness and let's go to advanced and let's make this to a thin glass yeah cool so now you can see now it 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 works as a a, a bubble so what a bubble so now maybe we need to work on the uh thin film or iridescence now so now if you okay let's 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 turn this off at this moment and let's work on this so i think we need to uh, so the specular is uh, same everywhere so we need to maybe increase the edge gain to get some uh, strong highlights on the edge so now you can see we are getting some strong highlights on the edge area so this is really cool and now we need to uh, now if you look at this everywhere it is same so we don't have that much of variation in terms of colors and the range here so maybe we need to work on that so in order to work on that okay let's first turn off this ipr and let's go to marsh and let's go to marsh okay let's add a color node so when you add a color node so it will create a color set uh, it, which is the attribute so on your geometry so it create a color set attribute and it will create some random colors if you want so in this case i don't want random hue and random uh, saturation so i just want the value random so you can see we have a quite cool range of value here so so this is the name of our color set so but but okay let's let's uh, we need to call this color in in uh, shading level so in order to call that we have to create a pxr primbar 
Oops. We can. Yeah. So we can create PXR Primbor and uh, let's let's connect this to the utility pattern. Okay. So let's connect it here. Uh, yeah. So go here. Yeah. So utility pattern. So we have connected it. And if I solo this and let's launch the IPR. So we need to show this again. So now you can see here. So it, it, it looks black, which means it picks the default color, default color here. But we need to call the attribute that we have created uh, in Mosh. So in order to create that, we have to uh, we have to make sure uh, we are in the variable uh, uh, use named var primvar, and we need to uh, actually type the name here. So the name is color set. Let's go to marsh again and copy the name to the primvar. Okay, so still it doesn't affect. So still it doesn't affect. If you look at this, still it picks the same color because we need to set this to color so this is very important and now let's restart the IPR and solo it again okay still it's not picking because uh, we have uh, quite a few things to be enabled here so at this moment so this is a little tricky so uh, uh, at the initial stage it will confuse you a little bit so actually there's something called emit color sets so if it is not enabled so the the color set that we are creating in marsh will replaced uh, or connected to something called cs so if i go to the colors uh, the prim war again and if i type cs cap uh, capital c and uh, small s now you can see we have uh, properly connected our uh, random color random color to our shader so yeah so if if you if you have multiple color set and if you want to use the exact color set so you you need to enable this emit color set otherwise it will the the color set that we are creating in marsh will connect it directly to cs now we need to use cs here if you enable this guy so you you have to directly use your uh the actual name the color set so yeah if i enable this now if i copy the same now now it's it's picking so you have to make sure if this is enabled so we have to use color set if this is not enabled we have to use cs so yeah okay so let's uh unsolo this so yeah now we have uh uh we have something uh, called our random color so here so i'm going to uh, use this to create uh, different values to our in, in our input so i'm going to use a pxr blend and i'm going to connect this uh, pxr fractal to the bottom color and i'm going to connect this okay let's stop the ipr and i'm going to connect this pxr primvar to uh, top RGB so so I'm going to connect this guy to the input of our PXR remap now we need to launch the IPR and see what it gives and uh, let's solo this now it actually produces this color so uh, we haven't changed anything in the blend mode but if I change this to multiply so now you can see we have a lot of uh, color variations uh, per, uh, uh, per sphere. So this is really cool. Now if we disable this and if we see here, so we have uh, so we have quite a range here we have to have here, but I think we need to change the remap here. So maybe we can play with the colors. So like uh, 600 to 800 okay now you can see we have uh, quite a lot of variation here so if you want you can you can even f uh, play further so it, it takes a little time so you have to play with this value to get the proper result that you want so the range that you want so you need to play 
okay i think this is fine so uh, so you can you can you can still play with uh, to to match this color but uh, i think this is fine because uh, i hope you get the idea so yeah so this is fine okay so let's go to our pixel surface and uh, let's enable the glass to see what it looks like cool this is looking awesome so yeah this is really looking cool and maybe we can zoom this guy a little bit and place him at the center zoom him a little bit yeah i think this is cool and now if we compare to our render okay we we are missing the depth of field otherwise everything is pretty much there so the colors are not there that the same color but you have to play for this that's fine okay so let's work on this depth of field so for this at this uh, moment i'm going to turn off this uh, ipr and i'm going to enable the depth of field and uh, for this instance i'm going to choose a different integrator which is pxr visualizer so let's launch the ipr so now it it, it helps you to uh, uh see the actual scene without any shader on top of it so yeah okay so we need to we need to change the focus uh distance so let's let's create a sphere and uh let's 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 uh press v and uh place this guy snap this guy to this sphere that we want uh, uh to be in the focus so the distance from the camera of this sphere is 12.935 so yeah maybe 13 so let's go to the camera and set the focus distance to 13 and uh, now you can see we are pretty much uh, uh, in the focus so now maybe we need to change the f-stop to uh, avoid this uh, shallow depth of field maybe we can go for something like 8 and maybe we can even increase the focus region scale okay maybe 1.5 and maybe 7 okay so we are pretty much there let's uh, hide the sphere and let's go back to render settings and change this to uh, change this back to unified I guess okay so let's launch the render now so yeah so we are pretty much done so that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching